Hello guys, welcome back to the show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Sonic Frontiers is not launching, crashing, freezing and black screen issue on your PC or laptop when you're trying to launch this and how we can fix this app. So without wasting any time, let me directly get into the point. So first thing what you have to do is when you're having this issue, all you have to do is just have to close the steam and then just go here, do a simple restart. Most probably by doing a simple restart, the issue has to be fixed. So you just have to go over here in the start, click over here and go for restart. And most probably after restart, just go back to the steam once again and try to launch the game. Most probably that might work, but I'm saying it's, it's not a hundred percent promise. Just try with this one. If it's not working, let's move to this step number two. Step number two is all about you have to verify the integrity of game file. So you just can see that uh, over here in the library, the Sonic Frontiers is here. Just right click, go to properties, go to local files and click on verify integrity of game file. Actually, the verify integrity of game file fixes a lot of problem. This is actually if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, this will be fixing the issue. So you can try this and this is very important and should not be skipping this. You can try this as a second step and after verify integrity of game files are completed, you can try to launch the game and most probably you just have to wait till this reaches 100 percentage and after that try to launch the game most probably this has to work because sometimes if any files are corrupted you will be having the trouble so this is also a very important step which you have to try out so moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so i'll show that so uh, let, let this complete it in in between so i'll show you how to run the game on dedicated graphics card so you just have to go to the search over here search for graphics setting so here as you can see very recently i searched it so i just click on this one and right now here i have already added the sonic frontiers so what i'll do is i'll show it once again you guys so i'll remove this okay so right now these are the uh, other games which i added so all you have to do is you will be able to reach like this so you just click on the browse now from here you just have to go to this pc so it depends on your case if you're in your case if this the game is installed on any other local disk you just have to select the respective one but here in my cases and in most of the cases of everyone this will be in local disk c so just uh, just select local disk c then you just have to scroll down and select program files 86 now just scroll down and uh, keep on scrolling now scroll down and navigate to steam now from the steam you just have to go to steam apps click common then as you can see these are the file all the epic game sorry the steam files so just select sonic frontiers then select the icon just go for add right now as you can see it is added successfully so it is very important that you should be making one more change which is called click on the option then this will be by default let windows decide so this is the reason why the crashing and all these things issues happening so you just have to change this to high performance and save it so there will uh, once after that there will not be any kind of issue so just close this and go to the steam then launch the game and most probably the issue regarding this will be fixing up even after trying if it's still not working the next is all about you have to press alt and enter together to force the game into windowed mode so you can press alt and enter all together so here on the keyboard i'm pressing it so you have to press alt and enter together so don't worry i'll give in this in the description then most probably when you launch the game just press alt and enter so that it will be into windowed mode and see whether you are able to fix the issue or not even after trying if it's still not working the next is all about you have to install a clean installation of graphics card both on amd for the md users for the nvidia users they have to go for the nvidia so i'll be providing link in the description which will take you to both the nvidia as well as amd so first here for the mb uh, for the nvidia users just select this one now what you have to do is you just have to you'll be getting an option like this select the product type product what you are and gtx whatever the uh, product series and the nvidia whatever it may be then select the operating system if it is windows 11 select it if it is any other just select it respectively and go for start search and once you have started search what happens is you should be getting the latest version like i said here as you can see the 526.47 is the latest version october 27 and 522.25 is the latest one on october 12 so you can download this okay download and install the respective one this will be around 800 and something mb i think right it is around it so i have already downloaded and updated the same but you can download and install it after downloading the nvidia users just go to the steam and launch the game that might be working out for the amd users you just have to do the same just go over to this page select the graphics card select the respective model select whatever the details like you need then just click on the submit 
when you click on the submit what happens you'll be getting an option like this this is for uh, windows 64 and windows 10 so what do you have to do is for 10 you just have to download uh, click on this one and download this one which is around 481 but if you're on windows 11 it will be around 546 mb just download and install it after installing just go to the steam and launch the game and most probably that will be working out even after trying if it's still not working the next is all about you have to allow the game exe file to the windows defender or firewall what do you have to do so i'll show you here with the windows defender so just go over here and search for control panel so here i have recently searched it now click on windows defender now from here click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here you have to add the game so here you have to first check whether the uh, sonic is here so just uh, scroll down and navigate to uh, over here and you can search by over here you can check whether the sonic is added so right now as you can see the sonic frontier is added so and also make sure this is both these tick are checked okay this is ticked that is private and public so as you can see the sonic frontier is added if it is not there just click on allow another app so that you will be able to browse so just click over here and you have to go to this pc select local to see if it is not added at the what you have to do is this is what i am saying just click on program files 86 scroll down and navigate to steam click on steam then just go to steam apps now from here click on common then just uh, select the sonic frontiers and add it so here it is already added so if i even if i click add they will be getting it is already added to the exceptions so you have to cancel it once it is done you are good to go just close this go to the launch and launch the game and see whether you are able to fix the issue and also the next is all about you have to roll back the graphic drivers what is happening right now is for some users some graphic drivers making the issue i mean the latest versions so you just have to make sure you have to downgrade it and you have to install the older one for that you just have to go to the device manager right click and go to device manager now from here click on display adapters select geo force rtx 280 select this one and go to properties now go to driver so here as you can see for me the rollback driver option is actually grayed out because i have already done this so here the driver version is as you can see this is the driver version but in your case it will be available so click on rollback driver so what happens is it will be rolled back to the previous install if the uh, device fails after updating the driver roll back to the previous install driver just click on rollback driver then you can uh, launch the game and see whether most probably this will be helping in some cases because as i said, uh, as I said above some of the versions like 526.47 and some of the versions are causing some trouble so i am saying you can try this rolling back the uh, rolling back to the older version can be fixing the issue and this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to install visual c++ this is actually a great fix so i'll be providing a link in the description which will take you to this so as you can see we are having options to 86 as well as 464 so you need to know which one is yours so just search for settings so i'll search for settings just click on settings now go to over here on system scroll down and navigate to about now from here you have to check whether which one is so as you can see mine is 64 bit operating system x64 so that means i have to select x64 here so here i have already installed microsoft visual c plus but even though i'll show you if you're on 86 just select this one so i'll click on this one so right now a dot exe which is around 24.3 mb is getting downloaded just open this okay open when done so if, when i click on run you can see that they are not asking me to install it so i'll click on install so right now it is getting installed so i think it might be have uninstalled by default or something so just install the latest version of microsoft visual c plus plus after installing the microsoft visual c plus plus just go to the steam and try to launch the game and see whether this is going to work or not and if it's not working you don't have to worry we will show you the next step so just uh, wait for the installation let it be let it complete so we'll move to the next step so next step is all about you have to run the game as an administrator and also launch the game from the installation folder so so far i told you you have to launch the game from the steam but i'm saying one fixes is also launch the game from the installation folder and if you don't know the installation folder you can navigate from the steam itself so i'll show you both the thing so just uh, go to the steam and right click and go to properties go to local files and click on browse so this will directly take you to the where the game is installed so here in the folder this is where the game is installed from here launch the game might be working 
But even after trying, if it's still not working, then, then we just have to run the game as an administrator. You can do like this as well also you can navigate to from the local disk C to the game folder and you can do the same from there. So here you have to select the icon, right click over here, you will be getting an option, show more options, go to properties. Now from here, click on the um, uh, click on the compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK. Then launch the game, most probably the issue has to be fixed. And if you don't know about this Steam method, how you don't know, if you don't know, then you can do the same from the uh, local disk C also for just go to this PC. So from here, click on local disk C. If the game is installed over there, just select program files 86. Now just go to Steam. Then from here, just go to Steam, select Steam, click on Steam apps, click on common, uh, click on Sonic Frontiers, then click right click and go to show more options and navigate to properties click on compatibility and run the program as administrator is done just launch the game both the sections are fine but i suggest you can directly navigate from steam itself and also as you can see in the li uh, last method which i told increasing the visual c plus plus a restart is must so don't forget but we are here in the middle of the video so i'm closing this but for you you'll be getting a message like this so do restart and launch the game from the steam then moving to the next one is all about you have to disable steam overlay for that just open the steam then you just have to right click and go to properties and over here as you can see under general the enable the steam overlay while in game is being unchecked that means it is disabled so if it is enabled just disable it and once it is successfully if it is enabled disable then close this and launch the game and might be working good after trying if it's still not working the next is all about you have to close all overlay apps which is running in the background that is quite important especially the uh, uh, apps like discord and all these things are making a lot of messy so make sure you are completely doing this and also the next step is all about you have to perform a clean boot so performing a clean boot you just have to go over here in the search then you just have to search for system configuration okay when you click on this one you'll be getting a tab like this click on services then you just have to tick on hide all microsoft services just click on disable and go for ok and once you are done with this after ticking the hide and checking the hide all microsoft services and disabling this all disable all go for ok and then launch the game might be working because this particular step worked for many of the users that's why i'm pointing this out this might work for you as well so moving to the next one is all about we have to increase the virtual memory this is actually working and this is actually a very important step so before getting into this first we have to know what is the ram of our uh, pc or a laptop or whatever the device you are having so if you don't know the ram you can get to know this just go over here in the search navigate to settings now from here scroll down and navigate to about now from here as you can see the installed ram is 32 gb minus 32 gb okay so now you just have we know the ram right in your case it will be either 16 8 4 2 whatever it may be so minus 32 so let me note it down so now just go to the search and search for view advanced system settings so view advanced system setting i have already done this so click on this one now from here you just have to click on under advanced select advanced then click settings now from here go for advanced once again then click on change now what you have to do is make sure this automatically manage paging paging file size for all drivers this is unticked if it is ticked you are not able to select the local disks so keep this unticked so in your case i am having only local disk c but in case you will be having parallel local disk d e f etc and also you have to select the local disk where the game is installed you should not be selecting any other random so select which local disk d sorry which local disk where the game is installed in my case it is a local disk c so i am selecting it so in your case it will be local disk c then select local disk d once you select this one go over here click on custom size so they're going to ask you a question where we have to give a value for the initial size as well as for the maximum size that is what we are altering the virtual memory for a calculation we need calculator so uh, what i'll do is i'll click over here so we got the calculator so we'll keep this we'll keep this Okay, so we'll do the calculation from here itself. So right now we have to give the initial size value. So initial size is always 1.5 times the RAM. Okay, 1.5 into RAM. So here my RAM is 32 GB. And you can see the value is in MB. So I have to convert GB into MB. That is 132 into 1024. 
okay so that is around 32768 so the value is 32768 now this is the 32 gb so i have to multiply it into 1.5 so my value is 49152 so i'll copy this i'll paste it okay so i have to give the maximum size next is maximum size maximum size is always 3 times the ram so i have to go for the next one that is 3 sorry 32 into 1024 i have to do the conversion that is 32768 and i have to multiply it into 3 so that is 98304 so i have to copy this i have to paste it once it is done just go for okay then launch the game and most probably after that this might be working out this is also very important step and moons the next one is all about you have to update the windows for that just go over here in the search search for uh, click search settings go to windows update now just check for any update if any updates are there just update and as you can see most probably if updates are this uh, download and install it then restart your pc then launch the game might be working Moving to the next one is all about you have to disconnect all the multiple monitors, including joystick, wheels, whatever it may be. This is working. Actually, this is working. So just go to the Steam, launch the game, and uh, sorry, before launch the game, just uh, eject everything. That means USB connections, multiple monitors, even the joystick, and Un uh, unplug it. disconnected if any logitech wheels are connected just unplug it every unwanted external connections like uh, usb connections you have to uh, eject it completely i mean you have to disconnect it then launch the game so once the game is all launched just if you are playing it on this uh, joystick then reconnect it back then play the game okay that will be working this is actually worked for many users so i am saying you this is also very important then last and the least one is all about you have to uninstall and reinstall the game So here, if you ask me the question how to uninstall, just click on the Sonic Frontiers here, right click and go to Manage. Then you will be getting an option to uninstall. You can uninstall from there, then reinstall. But when doing this process, this is very important. You should not be installing the game back to the same folder where is local disk where it is already installed. So as I said said earlier above, in my case, it is in local disk C. So I am not having any other local disk D or E, but in a case we'll be having many local disk. So you are already added the game to local disk C, and you are uninstalling the game. Then reinstall it back is reinstall it back to any other local disk, not on local disk C, but install on local disk D, E, or F, whatever it may be. Just install it back, then launch the game. That will be working. So these are the possible workarounds which you have to do when you are having the Sonic Frontiers is crashing, not launching. freezing black screen issue on a pc and how we can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in next video peace out bye bye